Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I will be doing an overview of Apple recently announced 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, the new iMac, and the new Mac Mini. First off, with the new 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, the model shares many of the same features first introduced in a 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro, like a redesign and similar casing. The new screen resolution for this new MacBook Pro is 227 pixels per inch with a 2560 by 1600 resolution. The new MacBook Pro ships with two Thunderbolt ports, two USB 3.0 ports, as well as HDMI port, a SD card slot, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a MagSafe 2 power connector. As with every MacBook Pro, the laptop has a FaceTime HD camera, dual mics, stereo speakers. The Apple claim they has improved the performance of these speakers since the previous model and a full-size keyboard. The speakers have been moved from the side to the edge of the machine now. The new 13-inch MacBook Pro was shipped today starting at $1,699. That model will include a 2.5 GHz dual-core Intel Core i5 processor, 8 GB of RAM with 128 GB of flash storage. A 256 gb model will cost this under two grand, and there will be an option for up to 2.9 gigahertz dual core Intel i7 processor with 768 gigabytes of flash storage. Next off is the new iMac. The new iMac comes in two sizes: 27 inch with a 2560 by 1440 display and 21. 0.5 inches with a 1920 by 1080 screen. Both can come with a Core i5 or Core i7 processor with up to 3, ter 3 terabytes of storage and 4 USB 3.0 ports. The new iMac comes with a wireless keyboard and a mouse, of course, and a 21.5 inch iMac with 2.7 gigahertz and i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte hard drive starts at just $1,299. The larger 27-inch model will start at $1,799. The smaller model will ship next month and the larger in December. Lastly, Apple updated its Mac Mini line with an Ivy Bridge processor starting at $599 and the cheapest model will include a 2.5 GHz dual core i5 processor with 4 GB of RAM and a 500 GB hard drive. Above that, there are also a 999 server version which will incorporate a 2.3 GHz quad core i7 processor with two 1 TB drives. Both models will ship later today. So you guys, that's pretty much it for this video. This is pretty much my overview of the MacBook Pro with render display in a new iMac in the new update to the Mac Mini. Please leave in the comments below about what you think about all these new computers. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright guys, hope to see you next one. Alright, bye.